Hello everyone, welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. This is designer Jayshree this side. Today I'm sharing with you a process tutorial on how to create this beautiful mixed media or as you can say raised stencil textured watch box using transfer me sheets from Dress My Craft. I'm starting off with a watch box which has been pre-primed by me using white gesso. I'm going to be using two transfer me sheets here one is Moroccan beauty and the other one is purple beauty uh, but before I begin with the transfer me sheets I'm starting off by using a stencil called distressed blocks this is a mixed media stencil from dress my craft and I'm using modeling paste to apply through the stencil I'm applying modeling paste randomly here and there on all three sides of the box I'm not going to apply it on the back side of the box next once the modeling paste dries I'm taking the Moroccan beauty transfer me sheet from dress my craft and cutting out some strips and some different shapes to apply here and there on the box where there is no texture paste actually so you can definitely apply it over the texture paste as well but I want the texture design to be visible along with the transfer me sheets design honestly these transfer me sheets are such an amazing amazing product and they save so much time while making a project once I've cut the small pieces of transfer me sheets I'm taking off the film and then applying the strip on the required area next I am taking a bowl of water here and a sponge I'm dipping it into the water and squeezing out all the excess water now I'm going to simply dab it on top of the transfer me sheets and voila look at the beautiful transfers that has happened these transfer me sheets are just amazing I'm going to continue adding these transfer me sheets here and there on all the three sides of the box where I have given texture through my stencil
the color seaside villa i am also taking another chalk paint which is a kind of a teal green color this color has actually dried out so i have added a lot of water to get a, just a little pigment to make my color a little darker you can also use any other teal color or any other matching color that you would like and now i am blending this color on the remaining area of the textured part and i am blending it in such a way that my a little bit of my transfer me sheets are also getting covered with the paint i am going to paint all of the three all the four sides as well as the back of the box with this paint all the four five all the four sides as well as the back of the box i am taking a teal color chalk paint and a and using a sponge roller i'm going to add a little bit of textured color on all the four sides of my box i'm not going to cover the transfer me sheet area I'm going to take the purple beauty transfer me sheet and place it on top of my box and I'm going to measure the box size and see where all I want and what design I want on top of my box. Now once I have cut the transfer me sheet to the size of my box I'm going to take off the transparent film on top of the transfer me sheet and adhere the transfer me sheet on top of the box. Next, I'm taking my wet sponge and then dabbing it onto my transfer me sheet, making sure all the sides are completely wet, not drenching it in water but making sure it's wet and leaving it for a couple of seconds. Once I'm completely satisfied the transfer me sheet comes off so smoothly and so beautifully without any effort. And look at this guys. This looks so stunning. Next I'm taking some antique wax and applying it here and there on all the sides as well as on top of the box and very very gently rubbing it using my wet wipe. This helps me give a beautiful beautiful vintage look to my box. I'm also taking vintage cold wax. Antique wax that I used was in liquid form and the vintage wax that I'm using is in a solid form. So I'm just rubbing it here and there on the edges of my box top as well as on to the raised stencil area just to highlight those blocks. Once everything is done and in place last but not the least i am going to use my aqua stone varnish and varnish all over my box on all the four sides top as well as on to the bottom and here a box is ready in no time i really hope you enjoyed this quick and fun tutorial on how to use transfer me sheets how to mix and match them and how to use them in places and not covering all of it so i'll see you very soon in the next tutorial until next time happy crafting bye bye